Welcome to Festival TV. I'm Martina Lacey, Features Editor at m and and I'm joined by Mike Cooper, CEO of PhD Worldwide in sunny Montreux. Welcome. Thank you. And we're going to be discussing social media ROI, one of those great topics. So we're going to jump right in and talk about how media agencies are evaluating social media in their campaigns. Well, I think media agencies are having to take the whole area of social media extremely seriously these days. Uh, and I think you know, you'll find that the subject that gets tweeted most uh, in relation to media at the moment is, is social media. It's, you know, it is the topic at the moment. And uh, so more and more clients are asking about social media. Mm-hmm. More and more clients want to do social media campaigns. And we came across a really interesting piece of data recently, which showed that, um, I mean, this just explains why they're they're so interested in it, Um, that uh, companies who are the most active in social media, this is a a, a study by a company called Engagement DB uh, Mm -hmm. Report, the companies that are most active in social media um, are seeing their revenues increase by 18% on average per annum. And the companies that are least active are seeing their revenues decline by 6%. Mm. So you can see why uh, you know um, companies are increasingly interested in social media. So it's not a hard seen. sell anymore, like it. It's it it's, it's it's really not a hard sell anymore, and I think the. Uh, you know, one of the important things to understand is that, you know, you know, there is a, even today, there is a fairly limited amount of data about the effectiveness of social media, mm-hmm. uh, about return on investment, about, you know, what you're, what you're getting for your money with social media and the effect that it has, because it's still, in marketing terms, is a relatively um, recent phenomena. But, I mean, by the day, we're getting more and more data. And um, the interesting thing about that data is that some of the results that it's showing are just uh, extraordinary. I and mean, we're seeing mm-hmm. really significant levels of, of uptake via social media campaigns, particularly when advertisers put social media at the core of their activity. So it's not um, an add-on? It's-, it's not an add-on. But, you know, but we're still, I think it would be kind of dishonest of anybody to, uh, to claim that we're doing anything but still discovering about this. You know, mm-hmm. We're still experimenting, we're still finding things out about social media. But it's a very, very exciting time, I think, for, for you know, clients and media agencies alike in this area. Are there some clients that you work with that you have examples of that have Yeah, had we, we've, had, we've, we've had a couple of, uh, of really good ones. One of the big advertisers we work with in, in the USA is, is Starbucks, who are incredibly active uh, in, uh, in, in, um, uh, in social media. But the one that, um, uh, that sort of springs to mind for me is actually in the UK with Cadbury's which was the relaunch of the Cadbury Whisper Bar. Um, mm. I don't know if you recall Cadbury's yes. Whisper, but Cadbury's Whisper was around in the 1980s and was actually dis- discontinued at some point in the 1990s. And there was actually an online campaign which started completely independent of Cadbury's to bring back the Whisper Bar. Mm. And in fact, somebody jumped on stage at Glastonbury about three years ago while yeah. Iggy Pop was on stage <laughs> with a big sign saying, bring back whisper bars. Yeah. And it gradually developed more and more momentum. And, and so Cadbury's you know, clearly could not ignore this anymore and got involved in it. And uh, they ran a campaign uh, through social media where you would pledge um, talent uh, or, you, or, or belongings in exchange for chocolate. That was the general really? idea of it. And they actually had an online auction of the first box of Cadbury's Whisper to come off the production line. Mm. And somebody in the Isle of Wight paid an unfeasibly large amount of money for that. Mm -hmm. Um, But the important thing was that um, the value of the chocolate, uh, of the product sold over that period was over 90 million pounds. And the return on investment was uh, was around 3.3. So for every pound that was spent on the campaign, they were getting a return of £3.32. So that was just a phenomenal result. So that's a very, very strong example. Um, and, you know, there have been some other great examples recently as well. I mean, you'll recall the Old Spice campaign, uh, which, you know, is probably one of the best the examples. You know, which doubled reference. sales in a month. You know, over three months, sales, you know, stayed up by about 55%. I mean, that's yeah. an incredible set of results by any uh, evaluation. It's extraordinary. And that campaign was quite reactionary mm. in, in how, you, how you responded. So how quick was the decision to, OK, we need to make some videos in response to, to all the buzz that we're getting? I think when that came, you know, the old Spice campaign, when that started out, the whole idea was that it was going to be a campaign which social engagement at the core. So they were prepared, you know, Mm. they were ready, you know, they were making films in in, in response to it. You know, they had preloaded films ready to go, depending on which way uh, the responses uh, took things. So it was a, uh, it was planned in in, in that particular instance, but very, very well planned and extremely well executed with fantastic results. So it's it's a really great case study. It's outstanding. 
And do you think it's easily applicable to other brands, or is it a, is it a phenomenon, or is it something that can be can be done again? I think that's part of the challenge. You know, um, I mean, you know, what you need to remember with with social media is one one of the really powerful things about social media is is earned media is the fact that you know some you know a friend of yours recommends something to you, and yeah. that's a much